Well, welcome to day six of our walk through this book, The New City Catechism. 52 questions and answers about the Christian life, about the character of God, about the gospel. And we are on day six, question six today. Well done if you've been with us for the first week, questions one to five. This week, we're going to be looking at questions six to 10, which focus particularly on the law of God, the Ten Commandments. That's where we'll, be, we'll start looking um, over the next five days. So question six then is this. It's a good question. How can we glorify God? The answer, we glorify God by enjoying him, loving him, trusting him, and by obeying his will, commands, and law. How can we glorify God? We glorify God by enjoying him, loving him, trusting him and by obeying his will, commands and law. I'm going to be reading this morning is Deuteronomy 11, Deuteronomy chapter 11 and verse 1, which says this, Love the Lord your God and keep his requirements, his decrees, his laws and his commands always. Glorifying God is about the most important thing that we can think about, isn't it? And the reflection this uh, today is from Brian Chappell. Now, Brian Chappell is one of my heroes uh, because he wrote a very famous book on preaching, Christ-centered preaching. There you are. Um, taught me a lot of what I know about preaching and very helpful book. So if you're a preacher, there you are, Christ-centered preaching by Brian Chappell. This is what he writes in his reflection today. How can we glorify God? We can do as he said, and we can believe what he said. If you consider what it means to glorify God by doing what he said, then we have to remember what he said was the prime commandment, which was that we love him above all and that we walk with him through all. After all, the Lord Jesus said, love me with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength. This is the first and greatest commandment. The second is like unto it, love your neighbor as yourself. If we truly want to honor the savior, we do as he said. But that means not just obeying him because he's gonna get us. It's not really that. It's understanding how great is his love for us so that we in love for him want to walk with him. And that understanding means that we begin by saying, I understand that he has loved me so much that my heart is responding in love for him. As I do that, I'm not now honouring God with a sense of, oh no, he's going to get me if I don't. That would mean I might obey him, but I would not enjoy him. No, true love for God means I delight in his law. I understand that what God has given me when he says, walk with me, is a safe and good path in life. That's really what the commandments of God are all about. They are explaining, as he shows us his character and care, that he's given us this safe path for life. So many times people think they're glorifying God because they're just kind of bowing their necks and doing the awful thing they hate because otherwise God is going to hurt them. Or sometimes they do the things that they think God wants so that he'll give them more good stuff. But both those kinds of sanctified selfishness, I'm doing this so I'll protect myself or promote myself, they're not really love for God. When we understand that God gave his son for me, that he's shown me his character and his care, then I understand that loving him and enjoying him means that I will delight to walk on that which provides the good and safe path for my life. I'll walk with him and love him in all that he requires because in doing so, I will actually enjoy the path that he has designed for the best life that he desires to give me. I wonder, is that how we think about the commands of God in uh, his word? Do we think of obedience as something we must do or something that we delight to do, something we get to do? Something that we delight to do because it means following the safe, the good path that our father has given us to follow. 
as we look at his law, God's law, over the next few days, let's remember these are loving commands given to us by our Father. They are the safe and good path through life. And if we love him, we will enjoy following that path. Let's pray together. Almighty God, our hearts desire to glorify you by knowing you better, enjoying you more and walking in obedience to you. Thank you for showing us the safe path through life in your word. Help us to express our love for you by our delight and enjoyment that comes from living for you in obedience. For we ask these things for your honour's sake. Amen. See you tomorrow.